Där kommer fanfaren förstås. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Laureates, Ladies and Gentlemen. Det är en stor ära att få presentera Nobelpristagaren i fysik. It is a great honor to introduce the Nobel Laureate in Physics, Professor Andre Geim. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends. A lot of praise has already been given to our work this week and the exciting new material, graphene. We will certainly hear even more praise as graphene's impact on our lives becomes more obvious. So let me refrain from further praise because today is also an occasion to celebrate something else. The last decades were relatively peaceful and quiet for the planet, but without no obvious danger from outside, there is another danger from inside. Instant information about everything and everyone awful allows an individual opinion to compete with consensus and paranoia with evidence. It's a time when one honest blunt statement can finish a lifelong political career and one opinionated journalist can bully a government or a royal family. Science is not immune from such pressures. For example, how noble prize-winning experiments, how many, you think would have been stopped if ethics and health and safety regulations at that time were as zealous as they are today. I can think of more than a few. Human progress has always been driven by a sense of adventure and unconventional thinking, by amidst calls for bread and circuses, these virtues are often forgotten for the sake of cautiousness and political correctness that now rule the world. And we sink deeper and deeper from democracy into a state of mediocrity and even idiocracy. If you want an example, don't look any further than research funding by the, by the European Commission. <laughs> Again, this backdrop, I salute the Swedish Royal Academy for keeping the candle of merit alive. The great esteem in which the Nobel Prizes are universally, are universally held is due to the fact that for several generations they have been given purely on scientific merit and not through lobbying and politicking or best presentation. I do hope that it will stay the same way and the prizes will never be given according to the number of votes in live TV contests. <laughs> Let me also thank the royal family for lending their unwavering support to the great Nobel tradition. It's a great feeling to partake in this lavish celebration that puts scientific achievement on such a high pedestal. The generosity of the Nobel Foundation and all the Swedish people contribute to making this prize so very special. From the very bottom of my heart, thank you all. <laughs> 